What's up? I'm in Japan, and I'm in about 10 other people's photographs right now. We did it, baby. Japan, Shinjuku, Tokyo. Welcome to my little room. Last night in Australia, didn't sleep. Show was pretty cool in Perth. Straight to the airport. First flight, couple of drinks, slept for six hours. Second flight, stayed up, watched some movies, and now here we are. You want a little tour of my home away from home, my room for the next, my kingdom, really, for the next week. Here's the walkthrough. It's just enough. Just enough for your boy. Little fridge. Massive TV, really. Bed's not a bad size. What have we got for a view? Absolutely nothing. Here's the real test. My old flame. I've missed you. I don't make the rules, but when that water just... First time ever, I was like, oh, I wonder what this does. I like bum stuff, sue me. Basically what you do is you go, you get some incense and you put it into I believe a shrine and you bathe in it for good fortune I'm due some good fortune there's like a like and share and subscribe joke in there somewhere but I'm not gonna make it it seems disrespectful mochi with some kind of sauce it's delicious what is that <laughs> Gonna put a lottery ticket on. I am at the Sensoji Temple in Asakusa. I hope I'm getting that right. Tokyo, Taito City. Uh, didn't film inside the temple because they said not to and I was trying to be respectful and also all that good luck stuff with the incense and everything. I don't want to undo that. So I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If you do the incense but you take a photo, cancelled. If you do the incense, don't take a photo and wash yourself with that water and taste a little bit of it. I hear that's maximum luck. Pretty awe-inspiring inside the temple. Like, every time I'm in like a big religious building, I'm not actually religious, but my bum hole like tingles, I don't know what it is, not in like a sexual way, but like in awe, bum hole tingling in awe. And one of the biggest takeaways from this whole thing has been when you've got a camera, other camera people look at you like um, like a little wink, like, me too, bro. It's really weird. It's not just a Japanese thing, it's happening everywhere. Quite cheap, considering you could cut someone's head off with it.
don't know what it tastes like, but it's great. Red bean paste. I'm in. What are we saying about the 20mm lens for vlogging? It's technically a more expensive lens, but I've got to hold my... The moment arm is further away from my body to get this shot, which I hope is okay. Uh, but it should be sharper. Let me know in the comments which lens is better, if the other one will suffice. About to go and get the best ramen in the world. Ichiran ramen in Shinjuku, Tokyo. But it is a chain. I feel like it's like the, U the UK we have Nando's. And we love Nando's. But it's a little bit basic. Ichiran is the Japanese Nando's. It's a bit basic. There's pretty much one thing on the menu, but it's fucking awesome. Meeting up with Brendan Murphy, Kyle Brownie, and Kenny from the Counterparts crew. Going to eat some soup, going to eat some noodles, and then we're going to hit some of those little tiny Shinjuku crazy person bars. I cannot wait. Let's go. I had to get changed into something <laughs> ramen appropriate. Why? Why? Give me a hug. Put the camera. This is Cobra. Got a hat on. And this is Ichiran. He's the man responsible for taking Shrey over here. Blood yeah. axe. Shake on it, baby. Yeah. What? There was a 45 minute wait to get Ichiran, so we left. Do you want to slam a little one? I can't slam a big one in that space of time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To get a couple of strong zeros. It shouldn't be alcoholic because it tastes so nice. Ooh, there's a rat. This. I want the egg. I want the extra half noodles. I want it in English, please. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. We're a family, and we need to be sitting together. I hate all these people. Please sit me separately. Just waiting for some space. Listening to your own band in a tiny Shinjuku bar. Yeah. He does kind of look like Wayne. Party on! I'm gonna fucking rock! Alright, I'm pretty hungover. Met up with Brendan, got into some trouble, went to some bars, went for some dumplings, went to some claw machines. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling pretty rough. A couple too many Suntory highballs and strong zeros. But we move, found a gym that allows people with tattoos to train, hopefully. Powerhouse Gym Tokyo, owned by a professional bodybuilder who has tattoos, so let's go, suck a little pre-workout down, try and get rid of this hangover, and uh, see if they'll let me train.
down. Thank you, Powerhouse Gym, Tokyo.